All right, Viking fans, it's time to give my week four power rankings. That next in three, two, one. All right, Skull Brothers and Sisters, this is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can find me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, at Skull World. And make sure you hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment. And make sure you ring the bell so you never miss a show. I go live several different days of the week. You can go check that out on my community tab and see what my schedule is for going live. I'm going live Thursday at 9.15 Eastern Time, 8.15 Central on Purple Pocket Podcast check that out now again make sure you subscribe like and comment i do this for you i improve only because of you i'm growing getting bigger because of you and i want to keep it that way i appreciate it now let's get let's get going let's go go let's get going on my power rankings i gotta make a little adjustment here just a second i don't know what's going on let me make a little adjustment there we go now let's get going Let's get rid of Justin Jefferson and my mascot, the Purple Hulk. Let's get this down to 32. Here we go. Now, 32, I had a little more hope for this guy, or this coach, and his uh, and his ability to get the best out of his players. Lovey Smith. But the Texas Ranger, or the Texas... Uh, the Texans, what I say Texas, the Houston Texans are dead last. 32 ranked team in the league. All right, next. Next at 31. Not showing me anything. They won week one, but I was pretty fluky. Pretty fluky. Going 31, I'm going the Seahawks. They lost again, but they are, I already had them third to last. Texans are just worse right now. The next team... Occasionally, they look pretty decent. Occasionally, they look pretty decent. They did win, but I move them up one spot. I still think, you know, I still think there's the teams above the, them are better. I could have probably moved them up two more spots, maybe. But, hey, they got to prove it. Next team has fallen out of grace. I thought it was going to be a, in the top half of the league, but... They gave up nine sacks this past week. I really moved them down. And uh, Carson Wentz had a pretty good first game, a good second half, the second game, and then got hog mollied the third game. Now, the 28th best team in the league is the Jets. They sometimes show flashes of goodness, but I got them ranked low for a reason. They don't have it together yet. They bring back their uh, quarterback, but is that an improvement? We'll find out. Here's a team that I kind of turned the corner on, thought they were going to be good. They will only be good when they bench their quarterback for their rookie, and then I think they would have an opportunity, and that is the Pittsburgh Steelers, ranked 27th. Let's see here. All right, we're going to go next, 26 overall are the Bears. They won. They won. They're 2-1, and one, but I still got them ranked this low. It's smoke and mirrors right now, guys. They're not throwing the ball. They're, they're just running it, and somehow they are winning two of three games. But I still got, I got them moving up gradually. I'll give them credit if they start moving up more. Now the team we play, the Saints, I got it 25th. They got a lot of hype, wasn't deserved, and they showed that they're not very good. Their defense is still good. Their offense struggles. They they have a lot of penalties. They're not a disciplined offense. So, and apparently uh, they're giving up a lot of yards on the run, so that bears good for us uh, going into London. The next team... Again, everybody is always high on these guys, but I didn't, I'm didn't. i not. And I thought they'd be middle of the pack, and they probably will end up there. But right now, they're 1-2, and two, so I'm giving the Cardinals a 24 spot. The 
Panthers won, so I I had them jump up above the Cardinals to beat the Saints pretty handily. I'll give them credit for it. Christian McCaffrey's looking better. And believe it or not, probably one of my biggest jumpers is the Jaguars are 2-1, and one, first in their division. How they're doing it, I don't know. But, hey, they're putting it together. What a difference from week one. The next team, I don't know how they were doing it, but uh, they were 2-0 and oh going into that Dallas Cowboy game. Cowboys took over late. They didn't have an answer. Giants, well-coached team, not a great quarterback, 21st-ranked team. Next team, big surprise here. I, I'm not lower... They're 0-3, and I got them 20. I think there's teams that have better records than them. Bears, all these guys have better records than them. I expect this to be a playoff team. What is going on with the Raiders? I couldn't believe they lost. Again, 0-3. But they got they got talent. They should be winning, but they're not. I counted the Colts out, man. Uh, they come back and beat Kansas City. What the heck? I got them jumping seven spots back to where they should. Closer to where they should have been. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll turn around. Colts, I got it 19. Another team that won one. It was the first seed in the division last year. Titans. I'm not sold on these guys. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt on it. They're my uh, Colts, are my biggest jumper. Titans. Jaguars are my second biggest. I could see myself lowering the Titans here. I would think, honestly, I think if the Raiders play the Titans, they'd beat them. But who knows? The next team, I uh, got the Patriots dropping down, but not far enough to that these other teams would pass them. Patriots, I think, are one and two, lose four spots. This team moving up, moving up. Browns, I think this is supposed to be green because they won, and I should have moved them up. So I got them moving up, Browns. If they had Deshaun Watson now, they'd probably be even better. Next team, they're kind of figuring things out gradually. I'm glad we didn't get their head coach as our head coach. But the Broncos are 2-1, and one, looking a little bit better this last game. And I apologize to the Cowboys. I've counted you out. Uh, I guess Dak's going to be back sooner. But it dealt, uh, they played really well this last game. I was, I was surprised. They played really well late. Took over that game, d dominating that fourth quarter. Cowboys, man, and won me a fantasy game, so I'm pretty happy. I had two players from that team. So, Cowboys number 14. Next, uh, moving down. The, I've got them moving down, but not too much. That was a disappointment. I think it had a lot to do with the, uh, the team being pinned back to the goal line a lot, and they're not driving 99 yards for touchdowns, so... And the only reason they lost is probably because Garoppolo stepped out of the end zone. Saved Dan Orlovsky from, well, he's still an embarrassment for what he did with the, against the Vikings. But the 49ers have the talent, probably can turn it around. I'm not dropping them too far, two spots. The next team, I still think is good, even though they're one and two, is the team the Vikings just placed. Or just faced. Um, I don't know why I got them 10th. Yeah, that's probably wrong. I'm getting rid of that. I did not have them that high. But, hey, the Lions, I think I maybe dropped them like five spots or something like that. Now, the next team, although they're one and two, I still have them in the top 12, the Chargers. My, my, uh, Area of confidence is shortened this week. Last week it was 12. It Now it's probably at 9. Because the Bengals won 
Did a pretty decent job. And they're at 10. So I got the Bengals at 10. And the next team, they got to figure out this offense. They can't have players get suspended anymore. They, they could have beat the Packers if they had a full team, man. The Packers got a shamrock up their butt. They're getting lucky playing teams that don't have full rosters. Bucks at nine. I still have faith in them. This is where my faith starts in teams. I only, I only moved up the Packers two spots because Vikings beat them, man. Sorry, Vikings beat them handily. They're still ahead of the Packers, so I moved the Vikings up to seven. I moved them up two spots. I know teams got us like below 15, man. Hell no. Still a good team, man. We took care of business. We won. That's all. So Vikings are in seventh. I am keeping the Rams. Rams are figuring it out. They're inching back up on this list. This, this is probably too low. But, hey... They all have the same record, so I'm going with the Ravens at five. The Ravens at five. This honestly maybe should be higher, but we'll find out. We'll find out this week. Um, I just think that much of the Chiefs, who I got at four, and the Bills, who I got at three, they got a little bit exposed down in Miami. They're beatable. I still think they're probably the best team in the league, but... Considering how well these next two teams are playing, the Eagles, they killed us, and they playing really good right now. They're a complete team. Their quarterback's exciting. They're fun. They're fun to watch, except when you're playing them. I I can I tell you that for sure. Thank you, Donatello, and that shell defense you took to Philly with us. But anyways, the Eagles number two. I almost put them number one. But because the Dolphins knocked off the Bills, the best team in the league, at home, were able to knock them off. I'm giving them number one. But honestly, I in my heart, I got Bills, Chiefs, Dolphins, Eagles. Or maybe, may, yeah, or maybe Bills, Chiefs, Eagles, Dolphins, and, and Ravens. You know what? If I had, If I had my heart right now, with my heart and not – considering a record and who people beat, I probably would say it is Bills, Ravens, Chiefs, Dolphins, Eagles. And maybe flip the Eagles and Dolphins around. But, hey, I think I got a solid top seven here. Well, a solid top nine. Solid top nine here I feel comfortable with. I think that's the cream of the crop. The rest of the teams are have flaws and are showing it week to week. Uh, Vikings showed grit coming back, and I did a video showing how we were not as bad as it looked. Lions took chances, and they just got dumb luck. Maybe it's design plays, whatever, but fourth and fives, they're going for it. They're getting them and getting 30-yard plays on the deal. So if Donatel can figure this out, we will earn this number seven spot, hopefully higher. Let's go. Skull Vikings. This is Skull World brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you so much for being a listener. I know there's many choices out there, and you chose to listen to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Skull Vikings. Cue the music. Thank you, Viking fans, for listening. Make sure you catch my other episodes. Also, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Skull Vikes.